Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Boxing. Red man, Stephen Edwards. First and foremost, what happened out there? I thought you and uh, David were cordial. Like. We were, but you know. Um, I think it's just needed right now because we talked afterwards. Me and his dad and them. Uh, we were. You like? I always respected them. I had no issues with them. Um, but I guess I'm on the other side now, so it's like you know, it's a war. But they they talk. We talk, and uh, his dad apologized. You know. It's, it's it's just it ain't it ain't that deep to me, you know what I mean? Like I don't you know, I I don't I don't care. It's just boxing, you know, but I I'm gonna defend my guy, you know what I mean? But I wasn't even I didn't even have to defend uh Caleb, you know what I mean? Like it was just like just talk from like you know, it was just talk. It was like, you know, back and forth. All right. And talk about that sensational knockout that Caleb Plan had with you against Anthony Durrell, I mean it was beautiful, you know, respectfully to the uh, It was a great shot, you know, great camp. Uh, and uh, he put in a lot of work. And uh, it wasn't luck, you know. Uh, he set that up. And as far as uh, Dan Benavides, we know his game plan is going to be to come forward, pressure, you know, and smother Caleb. Like, do you expect anything less from Dan Benavides? Um, I think he's going to try to use his jab a lot. I think he's going to use his jab. Uh, I don't know if he's going to walk up on Caleb mm. crazy like that uh, after the last fight, but I expect him to use his jab. Uh, I expect him to be very aggressive, let his hands go, and, um, you know, it's up to us to solve it. He hasn't lost a fight yet, so it's up to us to figure it out. And Grandma, I know you're a boxing historian. Do you like, obviously, you love this fight for Caleb, right? Yes, but I don't pick his fights. He wanted this fight, though. Mm. You know what I mean? He asked me my opinion. He asked me my opinion, and I told him, like, you know, you could beat anybody if you're right. I don't know, like, I gave him the confidence or whatever, but, uh, but I told him this before. I went to his room before the Darrell fight when we were in New York, and I'm like, man, the last couple of weeks of what I've seen from you and Sparring, you could beat anybody if you're right. You don't have to shy away from no work. And I don't know, you know, and he just, he kind of just smiled. I'm like, no matter who it is, trust me, if you the way, you, what I seen from him in the second part of that camp, I, and I meant it, it wasn't me just trying to pump his confidence up. Um, but I know it's a tough fight. We the underdog, but then Vida's name is first, I get all of that, you know what I mean? But I just believe in my guy, that's it. And as far as like, I think Davis is a slight favorite. Maybe um, minus 200, something like that. But whatever. That makes it even sweeter if we pull it off. You know? Without giving too much away, anything's going to shock or surprise David like once he steps in the ring with Caleb? I can't get into that. <laughs> I can't get into that. But we come in the fight March 25th. Yeah. We come in the fight. And how's it feel that? Caleb can get vindicated with possibly getting that rematch with, with It's nothing sweeter than revenge, man. It's nothing sweeter than revenge. He's not just getting revenge because he's not fighting Canelo March 25th. Right. He's getting revenge on the boxing world. He's getting revenge on the people that talked about him and said different things about him. He kicked him while he was down and said he wasn't this. He's getting revenge on everybody. He get the he get to stand up and say, see, you know, I am that guy. I'm him. You know, so that's a revenge is a hell of a motivation, man. And um, David think, you know, I don't know what David thinks, but they think David's the only one that's motivated in this fight. Caleb's yeah. motivated too, he's just quiet. Right. You know, he's just a quiet guy. He don't really, you know, he don't really, he's not as aggressive, but he's uh, he's motivated. He, he, he wants to win. This is bad David went for him. What do you think is misunderstood from Caleb, from like a lot of these fighters, like Anthony Durrell, David, uh, Charlo? I don't know. None of them don't like him, though, man. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know. You got to ask them why they don't like him. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I like him. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't have to fight him. But they don't, they don't seem to like him. Yeah. Anything you want to leave us with? Anything you want to get off your chest? Tell nope. the fans? Nope. 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 Just can't wait till March 25th.